In this video, we're going to talk about the differences between hypo and hyperphosphatemia. Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're only going to spend a couple of minutes talking about phosphorus imbalances. And the reason that we're not going to spend much time on this is because phosphorus is not one of those big four electrolytes that we care about. It's important, but it's not the most important electrolyte. So we're just going to spend a couple of minutes talking about it and then move on. So fact number one, phosphorus is also called phosphate. So you might hear these words interchangeably. Fact number two, normal blood phosphorus levels are a range between three and 4.5 milligrams per deciliter. Fact number three that we care about, phosphorus and calcium have inverse relationships. When phosphorus is high, calcium is low, and when phosphorus is low, calcium is high. Fact number four, because of this inverse relationship, the symptoms of hyperphosphatemia are the same as those for hypocalcemia, and the symptoms of hypophosphatemia are the same as those for hypercalcemia. And if you want a quick recap or miss my calcium videos, then check out them in the link above. Fact number five that we care about. Low phosphorus levels are most commonly caused by malignancy or hyperparathyroidism. And if you remember correctly, these two causes can also cause high calcium levels. And remember that phosphorus and calcium are inverse relationships. And then hyperphosphatemia is most commonly caused by chronic kidney disease. And so you'll often see patients with renal disease on phosphate binding medications. Fact number six, treat high phosphorus levels by giving phosphate binding medications. These medications should be given with food and they bind phosphorus in the GI tract and prevent its absorption into the bloodstream. You can treat low phosphorus levels by giving oral or IV phosphorus. Fact number seven, you can find phosphorus in foods like dairy products, nuts, chicken, pork, and organ meats like liver. Well guys, that was all I had to tell you about phosphorus imbalances. If you got value out of this video, then click or tap the like button. And if you never wanna miss another video, then don't forget to subscribe. If you wanna see more fluid and electrolyte videos, then click or tap the screen over here. Otherwise, stay safe and I'll see you guys next video.